was behind the walls of this house in North Houston 13 years ago that a child lived a never-ending nightmare. My dad started to take my clothes off and told me it's okay. And he did what he did to me and I just, I cried. She was just eight years old the night she lost her virginity, but that little girl is now a grown woman and she sits down with Fox 26 News to tell all. Now wanting to show her face, she cries as she remembers how her own dad, Mark Munoz, would have sex with her several nights a week. It still haunts me to this day. I can't even really sleep because when I close my eyes, I see it. Disturbing court documents revealed the first incident where the complainant stated that Munoz got on top of her and put his penis inside her vagina. The complainant described being in pain and crying as her mother just watched. She was, she was masturbating and watching and it's like it was, it was giving her like an arouse to see that. Her mother, Angela Munoz, and her father were arrested this week, but it took 13 years for the alleged abuse to come to light. So, Samantha, when did you decide to finally break the silence? I told a, t a teacher when I was a kid in school who called CPS. When we got to the CPS building and we were outside, my mother told me that if I didn't say that it was a lie, that I was going to pay for it. So I had to take it back. In March 2008, the family moved here to the Compass Point Apartments. That's where she says the abuse continued. This time, Samantha had a boyfriend who tried to defend her, but... He confronted my dad, and all my dad would do was just beat him up. He even tried to have him locked up, but they didn't do anything about it. Samantha and her boyfriend eventually moved out, but just two months ago, her parents were back to haunt her, this time trying to take her kids. CPS requested DNA for all parties, and that's when Samantha realized her oldest daughter had been born as a result of her dad's sexual assaults. 99.999% the DNA is saying that your father is the father of your daughter. That's not a lie. About two months ago when I went to court, I found out that the DNA came back that he was her father. I cried. I had a feeling it was already. It was just having to live with the fact and believing that it was. Samantha fears her parents were looking for their next victim. But tonight her nightmare is over and the people she says did so much damage to her are now behind bars. Maria Corrales, Fox 26 News.